previous video, I have created widget structure using a spring ink slider for a web-based application. This was the widget structure that got generated using a Spring Boot ink slider. In this video, we will explore all the components that got generated by default using a Spring ink slider. First, let's expand this SRC main Java. Go to demo application. Java. In every normal Java class, we will find there is a main method from where your application starts. Here also, we have a main method. Apart from main method, we have one annotation and there it is Spring Boot application and a class Spring application which provides run method and we are passing the class name as argument to run method. Now let's explore what this means by at the rate Spring Boot application. At the rate Spring Boot application comprises of three Spring Boot applications at the rate component, at the rate component scan, and at the rate enable auto configuration. At the rate component, this annotation tells Spring framework to inject dependency whenever annotation based approach is used with class path scanning. And the component scan scans all the jar dependencies present in your class path. And the red enable auto configuration tells the Spring framework how to configure based on the jar dependencies added in the class path. Now, Spring application. This class is responsible for bootstrapping your app. It provides a run method where we are passing the class name which says we are marking this class as primary spring component. Now we will explore pom.xml. In pom.xml by default, we have parent with artifact ID is Spring Boot Startup Parent. Version used is 2.1.8 release with this latest till now. And apart from that, we have two dependencies added in the dependency C section. One is Spring Boot Startup Web. This is required for creating a web-based application. Other is Spring Boot Startup Test for testing. And a build plugin for creating an executable jar. So what's inside this Spring Boot Starter Web? If we go to dependency hierarchy, we'll find that Spring Boot Starter Web. Inside that, we have Spring Boot Starter, JSON, Tomcat, which is the default embedded server provided by Spring, Hibernate Validator, Spring Wave, and MVC. It is because of Spring Wave MVC and Tomcat we say that Spring Boot Starter Web is required for creating a web-based application. Again, back to the pom.xml. We have also Spring Boot Startup Parent. What is the use of this Spring Boot Startup Parent? This parent is used for repackaging of the jar. We will later see what do you mean by repackaging of the jar. Let's start our first Spring Boot app. In order to start the app, go to demo application.java, right click on it, go to run as, click on Spring Boot app. Now the application got started. We got an error and the error is saying Tomcat is configured already on 8080 port, means we are already exhausted 8080 port number. 8080 is the default port number provided. So how to change the port number? Go to SRC main resources, go to application or properties, type server dot port 8081. This could be any number on which you want to run Tomcat. So save it. We'll restart the application again. Go to demo application in Java. Right click on it, go to run app, click on Spring Boot app. The application got restarted. 
Now go to console. If we analyze the console, we will find Spring as a peak. This is a banner provided by Spring framework. And now we see web application context got initialized. It is due to Spring application class. Tomcat started on the custom port 8081. And finally, our application got started. Now, I try to create an executable jar by running maven command. But before doing that, let's remove this parent tag. I am commenting this parent tag, just copying the version because the dependency sections have don't version ID pasting the version here for both of them now there is no error in form again back to demo application dot classed before running just stopping the server so I could not exhaust 8381 port restarting the app again Even after removing Spring Boot Starter parent tag, my application is getting started. Now we will create an executable jar. For this, go to root of the project, right click on it, go to run as, click maven build. Select maven command clean package and the building of the jar starts. You will see the build of the jar got success and the jar path is this. Now I am going to the project directory where my jar is present. I am opening a command prompt. I want to see what is inside this jar. For that, I need to use jar tbf jar name command. So I'm writing jar tbf demo 0.0.1 snapshot Here we will see we have only business classes and meta in present term. There are no dependency jar which would be required for make an executable jar. So how we make an executable jar? Go to form.xml Uncomment this parent version because this parent is used for repackaging of your jar. Remove this version from dependencies because it is redundant now. We will create a jar again. So go to root, right click, go to runner, map and build or in configuration. Here you can select Maven build. I have already a demo. So I am using Goal as my clean package. Click on apply and click run. Go to the console and your building of the jar starts. It will download all the dependencies required for an executable jar from Maven Central. It will also run the test case if there is any present in your src slash main slash test. Now the build got success. We can also find the jar at this location. And you can also see there is repackaging of the artifact. Now I will go to root again to refresh the project directory. After refreshing, go to target. You will see two jars one with dot jar dot original and another one with dot jar. Dot jar is the executable jar created from Spring Boot Starter Parent. Now I will go to the project directory again. I will open a command prompt to see what is inside these two jars 
type jar tf command to see what is inside the jar created so write jar tf demo 0.0.1 snapshot dot jar dot original now this jar is same as the jar created by commenting the spring boot starter parent so this is not an executable jar again open another command prompt again write jar tvf demo 0.0.1 snapshot dot jar to see what is inside this jar Now this jar contains all the dependencies required for an executable jar including speedboot startup parent Jackson. So this is an executable jar created using Spring Boot Starter Parent. So you can compare these two jars, one without dependencies, continually business class meta enough and one with the dependencies. Let's summarize quickly. At the Spring Boot application, it consists of a thread component, a thread component scan, and a thread enable auto configuration Spring application. It is used to bootstrap the app and provide run method for application start. Spring Boot starter parent, used for repackaging of the jar. Spring Boot Starter Web. It is used to create web applications. It provides Tomcat and Spring MVC. Tomcat is the default embedded server. Server.port. It is used to provide custom port number. Tomcat default port is 8080.